Amen. Lieutenant General Brereton of the 1st Allied Airborne Army has ordered the 1st Parachute Brigade under Brigadier General Lathbury to drop behind enemy lines and secure the Arnhem Bridge. Once you have sent Jerry packing, we all need to dig in tight and await 30 Corps' arrival. Take defensive measures at the bridge as I am quite sure they won't let us sit down for a spot of tea. Brigadier General Lathbury intends to use three routes into Arnhem, one for each of our battalions. The northern route, codenamed Leopard, runs parallel to the railway line and then into the northern part of the town. This route has been tasked to us, the 1st Battalion under Lieutenant Colonel Doby. The middle route, Tiger, will pass through Hilson and continue down the main road. This will be tasked to 3rd Battalion under Lieutenant Colonel Fitch. The southern road, Lion, will follow minor roads close to the river and lead straight to the road and railway bridges. This task will be given to 2nd Battalion under Lieutenant Colonel John Frost. You will be landing in LZX, which is west of Booster Beak. The landing zone is made up of open fields, so your drop should be a cakewalk. Gather your equipment and regroup, then advance towards Arnhem Bridge using Leopard Route. There are forests adjacent that you can use for cover. Use speed and precision, as the Germans will know of your arrival. Do not give them time to set up defensive lines. Headquarters intelligence reports have stated that the Dutch resistance has a high possibility of being infiltrated. All reports from them have been disregarded. There are no mention of German armored divisions in the area of Arnhem. Our main opposition will be light infantry. The equipment that you will be dropped with is as follows. Lorries, Britain carriers, 6-pounder anti-tank guns, 17-pounder artillery guns, as well as ammo supplies. Our battalion will be passing Booster Beak on its way to Arnhem. We will take stock of our equipment and men and then continue our push towards Arnhem. If we experience heavier than expected resistance and cannot continue the advance, our plan will be to regroup within Oosterbeek and form a defensive pocket. We have aerial photos of the town and have pre-planned our defensive strong points. There is a hotel in the south of Oosterbeek called Hotel Hartenstein. This is a suitable location for our headquarters. We'll also set up a communication sector north of Hartenstein, which will also house defensive mortar positions and a nearby supply dome. The key defensive locations for this town are the bridge in the north and the main roads that run through the middle of the town. If our headquarters is overran, we are to fall back and consolidate our perimeter. We have planned for every conceivable situation. Gentlemen, good luck, Godspeed, and give them hell.